What's good? Brian Tong here, and welcome back to the Apple Bite. It's episode 420, so take a deep breath and get ready to start off the new year. All right, Apple starts 2017 with good news for the AirPods. Yes, the ones that I gave a positive review, but I still won't buy them for myself just yet. New data from research firm Slice Intelligence found that for December in the US, 75% of revenue from headphones sold online were wireless models. Now that's up from 50% in December of last year, so yeah, that's a big jump. Now even more surprising, Apple's new AirPods led the way, capturing 26% of those sales and topping all of their brands since launching on just December the 13th. It even took the top spot from the Apple-owned Beats, which made up 15.4% of online revenue. So add those two together, and Apple makes up over 41% of online revenue since launching the AirPods. And you know what? That's a good Apple. C, contrary to popular belief, people are willing to wear toothbrush heads in their ears. All right, Consumer Reports can now recommend the new MacBook Pros after Apple released a software fix for Safari. Now, a couple weeks ago, they failed to earn a Consumer Reports recommendation for the first time ever due to battery life inconsistencies with results ranging from 19 hours to three hours on the same machine. Now, the fix is still only available through the Apple Beta software program at the moment, so we'll see how this works out for you. Okay, the Wall Street Journal reports Apple is still aggressively working to create original scripted content that could be either premium TV shows or movies. The plan is to make the programming only available on Apple's music service that costs $10 a month. Apple acquired the rights to Carpool Karaoke and they're producing Dr. Dre's autobiographical drama Vital Signs, but you're going to put other TV shows and movies not related to music on Apple Music? Come on, stop Apple, you're drunk. See, why don't you do this? Just acquire Netflix with, you know, some of your $200 billion in cash you're sitting on. Let them continue to produce killer content. Roll your shows into that platform and there, you have the destination for content you always wanted, but you know what? You couldn't do. Now, I'm not going to Apple Music to watch this stuff just so you can boost your subscription rates to compete with Spotify. Here you go, Apple execs have told people in Hollywood that they hope to offer original scripted content comparable to Westworld and Stranger Things by the end of 2017, so we will see. Now this week was also the 10th anniversary of the announcement for the very first iPhone. You know, the phone that changed really everything. I still have the original, it still works, and that was truly a special time in tech. Now a video posted by Sonny Dixon shows off the two early prototypes of the OS, the iPod click wheel based OS from the iPod's godfather, Tony Fidel, that one is on the left, and the icon based iPhone prototype, which ended up becoming the foundation for iOS by Scott Forstall, is on the right. Both were running what was called internally Acorn OS, but the scroll wheel version runs faster because it was a slimmed down version. But I want to show you this, it's just a fun peek at the past and how far the iPhone has come. But what about the next iPhone? The latest claims from Digitimes says Apple will abandon its long-standing aluminum back cover design and bring back arguably one of its greatest designs similar to the iPhone 4. You know, without antenna gate, please. The report says Apple's new design will use two reinforced glass panes and a metal frame in the middle. The metal bezel will be made of stainless steel using a forging process to enhance its sturdiness and reduce costs. Now, recent rumors have claimed at least one version of the new iPhones released this year will have an all glass body, and this could be that premium version, the OLED model with the fingerprint sensor embedded into the display as well, so we'll just have to wait on it. Now, Tim Cook has made it clear Apple is super high on augmented reality. A new report from Robert Scoble during CES says Apple is working with German optics manufacturer Carl Zeiss on creating a new pair of augmented reality glasses. Scoble says it would be a light pair of augmented and mixed reality ones that may be announced this year based on what he's seen. But uh, let's just hope he doesn't try them on in a shower like he did for Google Glass because that was one of the images of what you don't want to look like that instantly killed any cool factor they might have had. And finally, President Obama gave his farewell speech this week. Everyone was using their phone to take pictures, but I couldn't end this show without calling out the dude in the crowd taking pics with an iPad. But that wasn't just an iPad, that's a freaking iPad Pro. Holy crap, that's a bad Apple. But I salute you. You had up the damn thing with just one hand. 
All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. We're back to our weekly schedule. You can email us at theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.